Yo, Mike, red line pictures. About to watch the nun. I'm not looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an absolute piece of shit. Only because every single film in the shared universe has been a piece of shit. Every single film has got a fault, and that one fault will ruin a whole film. The fault for this film came in The Conjuring 2, I think, by showing the nun pointlessly. No real storytelling took behind it. And plus, it's, it's just gonna suck. Very little, and it just about scraped them. It was funny. It was fucking hilarious. I mean, yeah. it's one saving grace is it did look very pretty yeah. at times. It looked great, but it tried to be so many films. It was just shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. It was easily my least favourite out of all of these shared universe films. See, I've not seen any of the others. Don't. <laughs> as, as a basic, I, I would say just don't watch these because as horror films go, they're not good. They don't cut it. They're not scary. They're not got much in way of good storytelling. And most of it is just really lazy editing. I think, anyway. How about the acting? <coughs> I think I could do better, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, he was like maybe one or two actors in there what could do a little bit. The nun looked like Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> he looked like Christopher Eccleston in a wig. Whoever that woman is, fucking cracking job if you want to go for Doctor Who next. I don't like scary films, don't like horror films at all. It wasn't scary. It had one moment in it where I said to the in the cinema and I went, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I said, oh, 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 fuck off a lot more, but yeah, completely different yeah, reasons. Only because it was moderately scary for like 10 seconds max, and then it that was it. It was the rest of it. They tried to turn what should have been a creepy, ghosty kind of demon horror film, which could have been great, into a monster film that would just ended up being totally it's fucking just shy. It's just a lazy film. Yeah. Uh, it, the director did a good job, but the story... He did shit. the director do a good job? Yeah, because he made it look pretty. It's got to be hard to make a film like shit look that nice. Is that not the cinematographer's job? He's, he did it. James Wan did it all the thing. No, he didn't direct it. Did no. No, I just wrote the story. Well, fuck James Wan then, because he can't write <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basic story. Um, a nun. Demon in Romania. They've got to try and stop it. no one sounds like they're from Romania. There's a bunch of French people in there. And well, a couple of English guys. Yeah, but yeah, it's... No Romanians. It's a demon film, which didn't have the payoff. Filmed what, in what looks like Scotland. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if it, they actually shot in Romania. I think it's probably cheaper than Scotland. Um, but either way, because it, it, it wasn't scary. I was expecting to go in and be terrified and go home and put the light on and not turn it off ever again. But yeah, it I, was just, it, it just wasn't. It just, it was nothing. Didn't do anything for me at all. The acting was fucking awful. The soundtrack, the, 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 the score was awful. Yeah. Like you say, it looked beautiful, but so what? I think, they, I think they struggled with trying to put too many bits in, but it just really didn't need to be there. There's stuff in there what you could have took out and yeah, it probably so would have made it loaded. It could have been like a 30 minute TV episode. <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> it would have been great, yeah. But yeah, to cut out all the bollocks and just leave in the tiny, tiny bits of... At the, con uh, the convent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because right. some of the bits when they, when they first go to the convent, it's obvious that they're, they're wandering around trying to figure out what shit's going on. Um, some of that bit was all right. Some slightly I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of sound effects in it that are fucking awful as well. Far too many. Do they give away far too much of what's going on. Um, it shows you its hand about what's going to happen in the film. Yeah. Maybe a third of the way in, and then you can just sit back and go, well, right, there's this beat, there's that beat. Oh, there's that, that shit. Yeah. And probably what should have been one of the best jump scares in the whole film was spoiled in the trailer. Yeah. And, and that was shit. And as well. it's right near the end of the film as well. That's a slight spoiler. 
but well, it's not, it's if not you've watched the book, yeah, yeah if, you, if you've watched the trailer, then you know that's going to be at the end of the film. Just, Stop just jump scares. Much, you can pretty much watch the watch the trailer, and that's better than the film. It's more entertaining, and and it's got a better story. <laughs> and you haven't lost like an hour and a half of your life yeah. to absolutely fucking pretty long. Just shit. Fell so long. It's painful to watch. Entertaining to watch with people who are also finding stuff funny, but yeah. apart from that, I won't watch it again. No. Two. Right then. Two. Three. Tops. Just because how pretty it looks. But That's out of ten, by the way. Uh, mine's out of about hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. Do it. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.